Hi there Capricorn, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your reading for July 1st to the 15th. This is intended to be a love reading. Whatever comes up will come up. We'll see what happens. And look at them jumping out. Son of a gun. I'm going to take them because this is your... This is your time, Capricorn, with the moon in Capricorn. You know, this is your time. And these are about power and control. And this is this is your, um, your game. You know, you like to be in control. That's, that's the way it is. And some people might get angry at you because of your leadership, all right? You take a leadership role, and some people might not like that. This is a love reading. We want love for Capricorn. What do you have for love? Show us some love. We're looking for love. Oh, where did that one come from? Did you see that one fall out? Because I didn't. I didn't even see this card here. I, don't, I didn't see it fall out or anything. How long has it been there for? I can't wait to watch the, the video. I don't know. I just barely saw it. I don't know how it got there. I didn't feel it fall out. It must have fell out before and I missed it or something. So this, that's a very big uh, message for you. Okay, it says a lot. This one card says a lot. But what I hear right now vividly is watch your sexual uh, urges. <laughs> Your sexual, your sexuality is going to be through the roof, okay? That's what I feel, that's what I hear, that's what I see, and this card was just sitting here. This card can also say that you need to be um, strong, you need to pull out your strength, you know, for whoever this is, that probably an air sign that is, they might be causing you a little bit of uh, strife, okay? This is Aquarius. A Libra or Gemini, they might be, you know, a little bit of a disruption per se. Um, but it's not that big of a deal because you're you're still in control and you handle it quite well with no problem. Um, but your sexual urges are, whoo, like I don't even know what to tell you. I feel it. Ah, I can't even hold on to the. Cards. What is this energy here, Capricorn? Are you just like high or something? <laughs> you know, I don't know. It's like, woo! Maybe you're addicted to sex. That could be it. Oh, that one just jumped out too and flipped over. This one I saw jump out and flip over. They're, they're talking to you there, Capricorn. There's a reason for everything. When this card jumps out, it wants to let you know that everything happens for a reason. All right? Um, and you're going to need to balance as best you can, okay, your emotions with your feelings, with your urges. And, you know, you're going to have to have that angel on one shoulder. And that devil's going to be there on the other. But you need to really... Uh, beg the angel for, for help because you're, you know, you're going to be just raring to go. Um, but you're going to, so you're going to have to balance things out. Okay. This is a love reading. Looks like a, ooh, S-E-X reading. <laughs> Sorry. Strong, strong energies right now, especially for you, Capricorn. You know, you're going to have to rein it in as best you can. Remember to call on that angel on the other shoulder because you are going to need it in a very big way. Okay, the 1st through the 15th, you know, the devil is going to be uh, at the forefront and you're gonna be so pulled in many directions and you're gonna really have to rein it in okay it's gonna take willpower okay you are gonna need willpower and this is no joke I don't know how you're gonna get it but good luck with that
you got to be really careful, like I said, because it, this is a time where relationships can break up fast with these Capricorn moon energies, new moon energies. A lot of relationships are going to be ending during this time. It is actually a very um, potentially um, dangerous full moon because the powers are so, so, so strong. You might want to look it up. Capricorn full moon July 2017 relationships are going to be ending because the energies are so strong this pull that you have sexually towards hopefully it's your girlfriend but there's a good chance or boyfriend it's not just saying um could could break up a current relationship that you're in so just consider that all right and there's potential for big fights, big, big fights. Call on that angel. You might want to call an the angel and their armies. I'm not kidding because you're going to need it. Call on your guides to help you through this period of time. <laughs> Woo! All right, so here we have um, still the sex. Um, I just see it. I feel it. I feel it. So um, it's a power and control issue. It is. And it's, it's not really even an issue. It could be a power and control game, okay? And the passion is phew, through the roof. What, what, what Couldn't be any other way, could it? Um, so... This is saying that you're going to follow your gut. You are. You are going to follow your gut. That's what you should do, right? That is what you should do. Perhaps you're, you are going to embark on a new adventure with somebody. That is, it's a lot of fun. There's a lot of enthusiasm, adventure, um, playfulness, you know, passion. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it looks like to me you're going to follow your gut. And it could, because there's a split right here. Disagreements, a breakup, a uh, split. All right, I'm, I'm leaving now. I can't deal with this anymore. That's what this is. Um, but when that happens, this is a new journey. Okay, you start a new, a new path. And it's not a bad one. It's a good one. It means that one part of your life has ended and another one is beginning. It's just the way it is. You know? Down here, I'm just holding the deck. Holding the deck. This card is about not seeing something that's offered. Okay? Or not even seeing the whole story. Or not even... Um, or you might see, but you're not um, even considering it. Or you may not even see it. Something is going on or is going to be offered to you that uh that's probably what it is this, maybe you don't know what it is yet it has something to do with love and you're choosing not to even see it either you're choosing not to see it or you really don't see it yet okay so maybe uh there's there is definitely some urges during these two weeks big 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 urges and they be they may at first be more gravitated towards lust and sex okay and um chemistry in that way all right but you may not even see that there's more to it that's what I'm trying to see, say. There's more to this person. There's something you're not aware of. There's more to this person than just that. Perhaps you're going to be, you know, this, this is you, okay? And this is you, um... Splitting up with somebody. I don't know what's going to come up down here, but this is... I mean, these are the two breakup cards of the deck, pretty much. I mean, they are the two biggest breakup cards. So the potential for splits is big. 
Okay, this is a major ending. So yes, that makes sense that it would be right here and you're right here. So there is a major ending of a relationship. I don't know if it's a spouse or could be anybody. There's a major ending of a relationship which you are involved in within these two weeks, okay? And it's somebody that you are emotionally involved in with. There is potential for big um, fights, a lot of uh, nasty words to be said, you know, and probably maybe even some serious fighting. People could really get hurt during this time, just saying. And it's all about power and control. You really need to, if you don't know about the Capricorn full moon, it's coming on July 9th. And the energies are usually the strongest right before it. And it is a very dangerous full moon. So try to keep it honed in. And because it's in your sign, you are, it's especially powerful for you. Especially. Okay? You could have regrets put it that way acting on impulse just just saying not telling you not to to do whatever i want you to follow your own path because that is what is meant to happen okay it's gonna happen fast i, I can see it it's gonna be like that when that's when this this urge uh, shows up and that person is right in front of you it's going to be like you know it, the attraction is going to be animal like <laughs> could be somebody you're already with but i think the chances are slim and i'm just being honest Yeah, there's going to be, there could, there's potential for some major conflicts. Be very careful. Be very, very careful. Use your intuition. All right? Use your willpower. Balance out your the negative and the positive. When you, you know, or balance out your <laughs> urges with um, discipline, okay? You need to balance that out, okay? Angels, demons, angels, demons. Okay, do you go with the demons or do you go with the angels? So it's discipline over here with the angels and urges over here with the demons. What's it going to be? I mean, you, it's okay to do them both, but, you know, you got to have a little bit of discipline in there, but, but like half. Just saying. You know, I, I feel like I don't really even need to go any further, but I'm going to. Um, you're going to follow your gut. And you may, you know, you're, it's scary. It is scary. You know, you may have regrets, okay, uh, oh, uh, over this. You know, because maybe you have to leave somebody else behind to when you do this. I don't know. You have to make a choice, perhaps. You know, and that hurts because you probably don't want to hurt anybody or they don't want to hurt you. So it could go either way. Um, and all this fighting that's going to go on, you know, um, is going to cause some stress. It is. But a new journey is on the horizon. After, okay, the, here's the stress. And then towards the end, after the full moon blows over, okay, it's on the ninth, but the energies will be the strongest right about right before okay right before the night ninth and then right through after it will be strong too but not as much it starts to fade out all right but it still can even go further than that it all depends it really does on you and how you soak it up and all that so and where you are in the charts it's, it's, there's so many aspects but anyhow um and this is so this is you going within after this happens because now you need you really need to meditate. This is a healing period. After all this energy comes in and it's a big old high, it's like, oh my God. You know, it's a big high. Now you're coming down towards the end.
we're going to get a couple of these romance cards for the hell of it, but, you know, I don't think it's really about romance. Could be. I mean, it could lead to your soulmate. That's for damn sure, because I, that other card, that four of cups, there's something you're not aware of about this person. That's what I heard. That's what I see. There's something you're not aware of. Or you're choosing not to see. I don't know what it is. So we have a Leo here, we have a Sagittarius, we have the air signs, we have the water signs, we have the earth signs, we have an Aries. So we have pretty much, the only ones I don't see are the fire signs, I don't see any fire signs in here, really. I mean, yeah, I guess I do, right here. So we do, we have them all. Going to be a breakup, going to be a split, be careful. If, if that's not what you want, then you, I don't know, maybe you want to, um lock yourself in a room for the next 14 days and not leave. Make sure all your food and water is there. <laughs> Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. What the hell? Where did that card come from? Perhaps it's with this person. I don't know. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. I don't know where that's coming from. It doesn't really tend to fit. It might fit with some of you. Uh, maybe it's this new person you need to give it a chance with. A chance other than just sex. Ooh, that's a scary one. Oh, yes, it fits right in. Absolutely. Like I said, <laughs> angels versus demons. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Yes, there's going to be lots of red flags. And so make sure your eyes are wide open. Okay, red flags from every direction, not just in love. And this is meant for you, Capricorn, because with the, in Capricorn, you need to, it's really going to affect you in a huge way. Like I said, if you could, could lock yourself in a room and just, you know, or stay home, don't leave the house, don't talk to anybody, whatever, that'd be your best bet. But who can do that, right? Who wants to? This is fun. Are you kidding me? I'm ready to go. Staying in no room. Are you freaking kidding me? I'm ready. The urge is here now. I have the urge. I am ready to go. That's what you're probably saying. Could lead to this. I see. I did see this. I see that it could lead to more. That's why that card came up. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. I believe it. It could lead to this. Imagine that. All this passion leading to this. Might have to leave something else behind. Or somebody else might be leaving you behind. Which starts a new journey. So do not despair. When one journey ends, another journey begins. And this is the last card in the deck. When you get this card, it is saying that something big is ending. And something better is beginning. Because you learned from that last one. So Capricorn, that's all I have for you. I don't feel the need to go any further. Looks like a very lovely reading. Um, I am thrilled. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled that you guys are, are going to be on cloud nine. I'm thrilled that it was, I mean, at least it was a, it was some kind of love reading instead of a hate reading. Um, so that's good. Um, yeah. So thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed.